Hey everyone, it's Natch here doing another review for games and how getting 100% by completing the trophy list can help your mental fitness. Please keep in mind everything here is just my opinion based on my own life experience. There are some professional studies that would suggest I'm on the right track, but for now, I'm here to just spread the word and help people look at gaming as more than just entertainment. So with that, let's jump right in. Today I'm going over Minecraft Dungeons, developed by Mojang Studios, released in 2020. Minecraft is both single player and multiplayer, uh, and you will need an internet connection to earn 100%, but multiplayer is technically optional, uh, so that's helpful. <laughs> um, heading into Minecraft, I have only seen installments before, so I had an idea of what to expect, but it was definitely way different than my expectation. Uh, and in the best possible way and I had enjoyed it a lot more than I thought so kudos to Mojang for making a very fun game that's filled with tons of trophies. Okay so before we get into the fun stuff some of you might be asking is this appropriate for kids to play? In short yes it is but let's take an organic look at it anyways. The ESRB rating for Minecraft is 10 and older for fantasy violence. Uh, yes. I mean, I guess technically there is violence in the game, uh, but it is no different than essentially stepping on a bug outside. Um, for that reason, I feel it's fine for all ages. Uh, and I do just want to point out the hypocrisy with ESRB. Uh, for games like Super Mario Bros, uh, that game gets a rating for absolutely everyone. Uh, but not in Minecraft, so I, I really don't see a lot of a difference. Um, it just makes no sense. And again, I, I feel ESRB does not take an organic look at games. And for those that are maybe a little bit more complex, the context of what was intended and, and you know how it can be perceived. So, yeah. Uh, Alright, so now you may be wondering just how long this will take to get 100 percent well to be honest a lot of that will depend on the skill set of the player for me i expected minecraft would take me between 22 and 42 hours to get 100 percent and man did i go way over that like <laughs> astronomically over that so i'm not really fully sure how long it would take just anyone to complete it but I do know it would definitely at least take 20 hours minimum. Uh, some factors to consider are that there is a significant amount of time sensitive trophies uh, that is the biggest thing. There are some cheats and glitches available that will help reduce completion time. Uh, all and all multiplayer trophies again can technically be earned by one person. Uh, you just need a second controller so that essentially makes multiplayer trophies move. Uh, the other factor to determine how long this will take to get 100% is looking at the trophy list difficulty itself. Uh, even with guides and walkthroughs, which I always suggest using if you can, I'd say Minecraft trophy list is easy. Uh, and if you'd like to see the guides I use, they will be in the video description below. Okay, so now for the fun stuff. As you know, the whole point of my channel is to help educate and promote gaming for mental fitness. I truly believe you can improve so many mental abilities by earning 100% in a game rather than only playing the game just for fun. For Minecraft, I'd say its trophy list mostly improves mental endurance. And look, to me, good mental endurance is one of the most important mental abilities and is so crucial to your own success, uh, whether that be in school or work and even in your own personal life. It's the ability that controls how long your mind can go. Uh, think of it as your ability to run a marathon um, and you know it's never easy to push through when you feel you're exhausted, uh, when your mind can't take anymore and just starts shutting down. So being able to improve your brain's stamina by playing this game is a great way to do mental fitness. And the best trophy that reflects this is Post Post Apocalypse, which requires you to beat the main game final boss stage beyond the default hardest difficulty setting. Uh, meaning the developer added an optional difficulty multiplier to the hardest setting, which can be accessed on each mission select. Uh, obviously, any player will surely beat the stage multiple times, but to be able to do so on this difficulty requires a lot of 
leveling up and getting better gear. So it's definitely a grind, but it's always helpful to have trophies like this because the player can learn and utilize the mindset to accomplish it in their own lives. Um, and again, it, it doesn't matter if you are just a student or you're working, whether you're a kid or an adult, it's always helpful to train your brain to be able to handle a lot of repetitive work in your effort to achieve your goals without burnout and to be able to do so in a safe environment playing video games where there is little consequences it's invaluable in my opinion and before we call it a wrap here let's talk a bit about improvements when i think of trophies that would have reflected minecraft and have been helpful for mental fitness nothing really comes to mind uh, there are so many different types of trophies already in this game and given that minecraft dungeons is tailored to all audiences uh, but mostly towards children i'd prefer it to be where it is uh, as anything more would likely make it too hard and i view minecraft as a stepping stone to games with harder trophy lists uh, as it is so i i really wouldn't change anything so again kudos uh, to the developer for you know making the trophy list that it did and okay that's a wrap and again i had an idea although i had an idea of what to expect heading into this minecraft uh, game um, it was way different than what i had expected and in just the best possible way i enjoyed it so much i had a lot of fun uh, i would recommend playing it if you're looking to build mental endurance and if you have any questions about this game or mental fitness or just want to share your experience with Minecraft, feel free to leave a comment or message me. I will do my best to answer any questions in a reasonable time. All right, everyone, that's another review in the bag. If you want to watch me play live and even join in on my multiplayer games, follow me on Twitch. Uh, if you'd like to hear more about mental fitness, my game previews and initial impressions, then go on over and follow my Instagram. Uh, if you'd like to help choose what games I should play next or guess how long my next game will take, you can do that on Twitter. Uh, that's where I do my polls, so keep a look out there. And finally, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.